my first questions would be on your category three movies yes. of, your, of your early uh, filmography. Uh, so you have directed some of the most famous category three and uh, movies uh, made in Hong Kong, like Ebola Syndrome or Untold Story. Now we don't really see these kind of movies anymore in, uh, in the industry. Could you tell us your feelings first about, about these experiences and why you made them? And if you think nowadays it would be possible to, um, to come up with uh, movies like that? Uh, first of all, uh, that kind of so-called uh, category free movie. Uh, uh, of course, I'm not aimed at making a, a, a category free movie. But for the uh, story you mentioned, uh, like uh, the untold story, it's, I think it's, uh, it's necessary to make it uh, uh, like what we, we see now, uh, because the uh, the real case is. Uh, uh, Based on our research and uh, my imagination, the case may be more than uh, the, what you have seen on the screen. Yes, and uh, for Ebola syndrome, uh, sometimes I don't know whether it's uh, uh, good, good, uh, it's good to say it or bad to say it. Uh, uh, some people said that uh, uh, I have made movies that with uh, over-the-top uh, violence and uh, something like that. I think uh, uh, as a filmmaker. Uh, I, I feel pressure to make uh, this kind of uh, 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 movie. Uh, you know, when uh, we are making movies, sometimes we uh, really want to uh, look for something new. Uh, that uh, uh, what I uh, say to you, uh, maybe it's not uh, uh, really, uh, maybe uh, it is already exists, but. Uh, how you put it on the screen uh, and, uh, and the impact that, uh, that uh, we are going to give the audience is also a, a kind of a, a experiment or something like that. Uh, of course, some people uh, uh, may say that uh, Untold Story or Ebola Syndrome, is, uh, uh, they, they like these two movies, but uh, as far as I know, many, many people, they really hate these movies. But uh, I have no regret in making these movies. In the movie Happy Family, you have a guest appearance in the movie. Yes. And you present yourself as the director of Untold Story. Yes. Uh, do you think it's the image that everybody in Hong Kong have, has about you? And uh, are you happy about this image? I'm uh, the director of uh, Untold Story. Yes. It's reality. Yes. I can't be lies. Yes. So no matter you like it uh, or you like me or not, it's already a fact that it's something in history I, I cannot change. So it doesn't matter to me whether you like me or you hate me, it's fine. But don't kill me. <laughs> I understand. Recently, Japanese and American horror movies have uh, had a big influence on, on big uh, horror movies in Hong Kong, you know? Um, you know, like the importance of a twist in the end of the movies to, to surprise the, the audience or, or visual styles of the ghost and, and things like that. What do you think of this new trend of, of horror and, and ghost stories and ghost movies? But I don't, I don't think it's a new trend. Actually, it's a, you can say it's an old trend, or it's a trend that uh, always exists. Because uh, uh, every time when I traveled, uh, now we can see the HBO now in Hong Kong. But uh, uh, some years ago when I traveled, I always like to see the HBO. That kind of movies already appeared in HBO for many, many, many years until Scream that got theatrical, uh, awkward box office theatrical. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, there's some so-called film, not TV uh, movies, maybe like, like that. So I don't think it's new. It's, new. Yeah. Yeah. it's, it's not new. It's already new. Yeah. Yeah. 